Hello again, Comparison 3ds Max Blender. So today we're doing Timeline, Time Slider. We're doing Keyframes, we're doing Curve Editor or Graph Editor, and we're doing Dope Sheets. So these are kind of boring, these can sound a bit boring, but these are ways that we can fine tune and control our animations in 3ds Max Blender and other similar 3D programs, yeah. So to start off with, here's the timeline in Max, so we can drag it backwards and forwards, left, right, that's called scrubbing to whatever key we want. We can go to the time configuration, so that adjusts our time configuration here, we frames per second, start time, end time, etc, etc, yeah. So in Blender, we've got a similar scene with a very simple sphere, and again we've got the time, sli the t the time slider here, the timeline, yeah, so we've got a green vertical bar, and we can left click and drag it to whatever frame we want. We can do it there with the slider here and we can start the change the start animation, the end animation there as well. So that's similar to 3ds Max. Okay. Coming back to 3D <laughs> coming back to 3ds Max now, we're going to have a look a quick look at keyframes, yeah? So you can get introduced to those. So we go to auto key, that's a good one to use, and we press set key at the start, because that tells the computer where the sphere is going to be at the start without any weird problems going on and we can drag it to 57 and let's just move the sphere forward a bit so it's going this yeah so let's press play and then the sphere's moving like so or we can scrub it backwards and forwards we can do other things as well so we can obviously rotate so add a keyframe there and we can rotate and then that as a an auto one there we can also obviously do scale as well like so yeah, so we've got a move, rotate, and a scale going on in Max U using the auto key, okay? So let's have a look at Blender. So we've got Blender here, and here's the slider again, the timeline I showed you. And a good, there are a number of ways to add keyframes in Blender, but we can press I, and we can start off with location, ro location rotation, so this one here. So that tells you tells the computer where it's going to be there. Drag the, the, the timeline a bit forwards and go to it again. Press R to rotate firstly and then go to location rotation and it should rotate from this keyframe to there like so and then again you can do things like add another one here and say if you want the location and then you want the location to change here so you move it like so and then you press I and location. Yeah. So it's a very simple way to animate like so. So let's press play. There we go. Da, 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 and then it moves it. Yeah. Very good. And you can also animate by doing having this key down here, which is similar to the oops, not Skype, similar to the auto key here, yeah. So you can mess around with that like so. Okay, so that's going to add stuff as you go, like so. Yep. So that's the auto key there. So that's basically the the key the the keyframes and the time sliders. Let's have a very quick look at how we can find control it. Yep. So in 3ds the Max, we use the graph editor to control movements of simple objects. So you can either get it from here, or I like to get it from up here, yeah, the curve editor. It's not the graph editor, sorry, it's the curve editor, yeah, in Max. So down here we've got the location for the movement of the sphere as it moves from here to oops, <laughs> from here to here, yeah. And at the moment it is kind of eased off. So you see this nice tangent here, there's a circle yeah, circular movement. So it slows and gets faster. And then slows down again. But if we change it, we can mess around with the jerkiness of the animation, yeah? So we can get it to ease in and stop, etc., etc. We can do the same for scaling and rotate as well. So that's the graph editor in Max, yeah? Let's go to 3D Studio Max now. We find the graph editor in one of the options here, yeah? We can go to graph editor here, but we can, a good way is to take it to animation view, and then the graph editor is going to appear here, yeah? So then again, it shows you all the different tangents in this window, make it a bit larger, right? So we're going to scrub it, 
so when we scrub we'll see that this is the yeah this is where the it moves and then we can change again the easing in and out of the movements and the scaling and the rotation etc etc okay so that's the graph editor and that's useful in both programs yeah in 3d studio max finally we've got the dope sheet which is good for other types of controlling sort of animation on a larger scale when we've got lots of things going on so we've got the keys here and we just change the keys you know to depending on how quickly we want things done like the movement here yeah so we can change that around so yeah same in blender we've got the dope sheet here it's a bit more simple looking but then again let's have a look so this one moves here to here we can change the speed of that yeah like so there you go so that's basically everything that's it wrapped up so that's the keyframing and max the timeline the, the keyframing max and blender the timeline and max and blender the dope sheet and the graph editor okay so if you want to ask any questions let me know any comments and check out my website www.jamesabelart dot com for more tutorials and a lot of my own artwork that I use the three D studio Mac, the three the three D graphics and also remember to sub I can't talk today sorry to subscribe to my YouTube channel that has loads of more cool free tutorials okay well thanks very much for listening and I hope to speak to you later bye bye for now. <laughs>